What's up y'all, it's your boy Russ, back again with another video. And today we're gonna talk about that new Drizzy project that he put out, this Dark Lane demo tapes. I'ma just be real with y'all, you know, I'm just gonna be honest. And I am a Drake fan. I'm like a Drake stan almost, really. Just this current climate of music, like I've really been on, I've been on Lil Baby, I've been on Rod Wave, I've been on, you know, Tory. I've been on a different type of vibe. So I really wasn't ready to just like, okay, let me switch up and get in this bag. Because when I listen to music, like I really want to be in the mood to listen to it so I can really, really hear it. Like I don't want to just play something and just be like, oh yeah, I listen to the project. Like I listen to music where I'm actually in the mood to listen to it. Just because it came out doesn't mean I'm gonna listen to it that day. You know what I mean? But I did end up giving it a listen. And if y'all don't know, this tape that Drake put out, this Dark Lane demo tape, is pretty much a compilation of the unofficial official leaks and different things that he's put out here and there lucy's that are on soundcloud ovo radio apple music everywhere youtube and he pretty much put them all in one place so we do have the tusi slide on here we have desires with him and future we got the chicago freestyle we got pain 1993 which is a song with playboy cardi that was highly anticipated we got d4l which is him and future again we got Demons with Fabio Forn, which is a guy that's really, really popping out in New York right now. And then we got songs like War that we've heard before and different things like that. The project is straight. This isn't his album. He's made it a point to say that these songs were never on the album. Like these are old joints that he did a long time ago. So it might not be as cohesive as an album would be, but at the same time, it is still cohesive in the fact that you can tell that Drake is really on some new sounds. Like Drake really is a guy that tries to change up his sound some people could say he swag jacks you know he'll hop from the you know caribbean sound to the drill sound to the whatever sound is popping at the time but they say it's not about who does it first it's about who does it best so that's yet to be seen with the album but songs like war songs like demons losses those are the ones i really gravitate toward even the desires in the chicago freestyle when to say when and the 2c slide i like the song with future that song with cardi that's not it bro he's not up to par right now the amount of attention that he's getting and amount of anticipation that he's getting for the little music that he has put out it's kind of getting ridiculous you know what i mean like uzi got to the point where it was just like hey you got to put something out but uzi at least he was like out here he at least blamed it on label issues so we can sympathize with that if you're gonna do something like this you have to at least give us a reason for me it just seems like cardi just like doesn't want to put out music like he's just like yeah i'm just rich right now so that's fine but we can't keep putting him up there as that guy when he hasn't been acting like that guy you know what i mean and usually when he does pop out with something it's mediocre the leaks are what is really the fire stuff that he has like the songs like molly the the kid cuddy like those leaks and then his previous stuff is really what I feel like has elevated him. And we've seen him on A1 status. And even songs like, what's that song he did with uh, Tyler, the creator? I forgot the name of the song. Y'all know what song I'm talking about with him and Tyler. And he did that verse. He walked on that verse. Like, he, he killed it. But I feel like when it's something official like that at me, like, in this, bro, like, it's not it. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to go too hard on it, but it's not it. Like, I really think Cardi has to step it up. That's really one thing I did take away from this. Like, I was coming at this with, hey, I want to see what Drake's on, blah, 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 blah. I've been on different types of rap music because that's really the landscape of rap is changing. It's the guys like Lil Baby. It's the guys like NBA Youngboy. It's the guys like Rod Wave. It's the guys like Lil TJ, uh, the A Boogies, the everybody that's on melodic or they're on their street. You know what I'm saying? They're on their, they're on their own vibe. And Drake's an OG at this point, so we know what to expect from him. But at the same time, we hope to get something different every single time. In that aspect, this tape fits into that. You know, this wasn't what I expected. He's tapping into that, like, I hear the drill sound. I really do hear a lot of New York drill influence in a lot of these songs. Like, he has Fabio on here. I'm pretty sure, you know, he was influenced by pop and different guys that were in new york or are in new york that are making noise because that's one of the big sounds right now and he does gravitate toward the sound that's popping and i like the way he's doing it though because he's doing it in his own way and his lyricism some people have said that he stepped his lyricism up i actually think he has a lot of people are saying yo drake's really spitting now you know what i mean i hear it i hear the elevation 
And other people are like, nah, he's still the same. He's just doing it a little bit different. I hear a difference now. The guy that's on top of the game, the $100 million man, we're going to be scrutinizing every single word that you said. And it amazes me that he is able to string together whole songs that are just like, you know what I mean? Like, like fire. Because he's so choosy in what he says and how he says it. And it's just like, he did this on purpose. Like, you never listen to a Drake song and just think, hey, this was just thrown together. Like, nothing he does is just thrown together. It's always for a purpose. He's always talking about something. And if we know the situation or not, he's talking about a real situation, a real person. 14 songs, 50 minutes, a couple of the songs we have heard before. But in the album format, I think that they will do better. And obviously, you've seen that already. This, this demo tape is done numbers just in the little time that it's been out so that goes to show drake's power and numbers that's never gonna leave even if it's just a song a video or whatever it's always gonna go crazy so this demo tape it really didn't get me more excited to hear more drake because i know he could do this type of stuff it just gave me more drake songs to listen to and maybe over time it'll grow on me and i'll be like nah nah this dude was really really spitting like that one person i want to say that you know, did a song with Drake, and I really overlooked how much he snapped was Future. On that, Life is Good, I, I wasn't listening like that at first. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, like, but then when I sat down one day and I actually listened to Future, like, he walked on that whole verse. So, sometimes I feel like I just don't hear it, you know, the first time around. So, I'm gonna let this sit on me, and I'm glad I didn't, you know, react to it at first, so I can let it sit, and I can listen to it, and you know, actually take some you know take something from it other than just like oh it's straight you know what i mean so yeah let me know what y'all think is this demo tape fire is it just all right like does it get you hype does it get you like off drake and what do y'all think about that cardi some of his fans need to get in the comments and stick up for your boy because to be honest he is slacking bro but other than that that's the end of the video the tape the tape is straight I've been on this tape, I've been on Lil Baby's uh, My Turn, I've been on the Deluxe, the Deluxe is crazy. Lil Baby is actually my favorite rapper out of these new guys right now, like you already know it's Young Boy, him, Meek, different guys like that, but Lil Baby is definitely like up there, like he's he's nice. I'm gonna have a video about him coming out soon. Uh, the Baby's Project, uh, Rod Wave, man, I've been on Rod Wave a lot. I've been on a lot of different guys, Tori, and this is something different, so everybody's coming out with this good music during quarantine big sean might even drop so i'll be on the lookout y'all be on the lookout for new music too if y'all have any projects that want me to react to do breakdowns do like talk about the artists talk about the features whatever y'all want just leave a comment and let me know uh yeah it's russ i get at y'all